So, are you guys here to learn how to call old time square dance? No! no! <laughs> Class of the series, this is oh. number five. Oh. <laughs> and, oh, thank you so much for doing this. It means a lot to me. I'm now a better square dance caller because you guys have helped me learn how to call square dances. Square dance, and you're going to become square dance callers. And it's kind of an interesting world to, to get into because you're not probably going to be calling dances for large groups that don't have square dance. <laughs> Unless you go to a festival and get to call it a festival, or maybe in Tom's case where he finds a group that's got a big group of concert dancers. <laughs>
since this is old time square dance, one of the things I like to say to people is one, we don't want to get too good, and number two, we want to keep that fine edge of panic that makes good dance. <laughs> But also, I want to talk a little bit about pattern, because in Southern Mountain Square Dance and Ozark Mountain Square Dance, there's oftentimes pattern. And pattern is seductive. We really want to do it because it's on the rhythm. And we get stuck on the pattern and we forget to watch the dance. So the dance does not follow the pattern, necessarily, especially with new dancers. The pattern has to follow the dancers. Which means... <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,